we're in the Peak District again and I'm here with no tent just my 26 litre Stratus my sleeping equipment so I'm heading up to Win Hill so I can grab a lovely sunset I'm going to chill up there for a little bit and uh, I'm going to decide then where to go I'm not really sure, I can go anywhere um, just got to get back to a strange station for about half 12 tomorrow so yeah just get a step in like I say it's a gorgeous day and for once I've got a really light backpack Right, we're about 30 minutes later, something like that. And that's Winnell behind me. We're going well past that. I just want to get some steps in, like I say. I haven't actually got a clue where I'm going to go. Uh, I've got a slight idea. I'm either going to head towards Snake Woodland, if I'm thinking it's going to be a bit breezy and being a bit exposed isn't a good idea with a bivy, uh, bivy bag. Or, I'm going to head up towards Kinderscalp and uh, find somewhere up there because I kind of want to go for a scramble in the morning. Wouldn't mind that. Um, but yeah, like I say, at the minute, we're just stomping, getting these miles in. It's a gorgeous day. I'm happy to be out. Yeah, what we're walking towards now looks amazing. It is actually gorgeous. Um, this says there's meant to be a bit of a sunset today. Um, I don't know. Um, I am 50 50 you now. <clears throat> Head up to Loose Hill. But I know that's going to be a killer going down and all the way up there. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's see how we do. <laughs> but yeah, at the minute, I think I'm going to head up to Kinder Scar. That's what I reckon. That's what I'm thinking anyway. But it depends how rocky because I want to I have a bit of cover. Seeing that, I'm not going to be in a tent tonight. I don't want to be out, out in the open. There's going to be a slight breeze tonight, but no major. And it says it's going to get down to about four degrees. So my, my sleeping bag's well, well enough for that. Um, and so is my pad. So I'm not worried about that one bit. But it's just if there's a bit of a breeze, I know that can make you chilly. So it's just a case of getting out of that. But yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. I'll just get stomping, because I've got a long while to go. A long way. But I've done the hardest bit, getting up on the tops. Now it's just going to be getting these steps in. I'll tell you one thing, for this backpack, it's a, it's a life sand. Absolute life saver. I've gone from probably between 10 and 15 kilo to I can't see me any anyway. more between six and eight kilo on my back at the minute. It's nothing. I can't even feel it. So it's giving me the motivation now to just crack on and get these steps on. And the sun's still quite up. I'm gonna cut back to the end of last summer. We actually did a camp down here. Um, it was when I had my fox. Uh, my fox. Um, my fox tent. Just to clarify that, I don't really think that I'm roaming around with foxes. Um, but that's when we did the Nine Edges Challenge. Jesus Christ, I remember being sat on there thinking, oh, I'm knackered. Absolutely knackered. It was a long day that. I think we did. I'm sure it was about 25 miles. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, I was absolutely knackered. And then we still had to walk back to Padley the following day. <sighs> but we ain't got to do that today. <laughs> today, it's just enjoying it really, just getting stomping. And uh, I'm making really good time. I'm, I'm not setting myself anything where I'm gonna go. It's just really just pacing it. <laughs> and finding a nice spot. I'm not even bothered if I have to walk a couple hours in the dark. As long as I can catch a bit of a sunset. So that's why I'm trying to get through this bit as fast as I can. 
and up onto the other side because then I know I'll be able to see half decent sunset anyway. <sighs> but yeah, it's just good to be out really. That's the main thing. A little short blast like this, I needed it. Let off some steam. Yeah. <laughs> and now there's not a soul in the bar. So I've not really done much recording to start off with. There's just so many people, so many people everywhere. And then since we've got past Winnell now and we've come down the other side, no one. Absolutely no one. So that gives me free reign scream and shout and sing as much as I want. Yeah. Yeah, maybe not to sing because I'll make it rain and I don't want rain tonight. So yeah, we'll leave the singing for another day. Oh, already I've got a bit of a change of plan. I think I'm going to head up Loose Hill over the Great Ridge and I'm going to camp at Winnett's Pass. That's my idea. Um, yeah, a bit of a mad change, but fuck it, innit? That's what we've got to do to be out here. It's early sunrise, so I know no one's going to really be bothering me. So that's the main point. Um, but yeah, I've just got to try and get up loose all quick now. And that's going to be a hard bit. As long as I can get to the top of there for sunset, I'm happy. But yeah, we need to get bed down then and get stomping. But at least it's going to give me the elevation that I need today as well. Plenty of that. <laughs> Just up there, that's where I was, on top of Win Hill, and down this hillside. Now we're making it all loose hill. It's just up there. Now, as you can see, we made it up just in time. The sun's starting to go down. I'm easily going to be able to make it up there now. Told me, I told you that. Absolutely knackered me out. Oh, I'm into a rhythm of it now, so we're just going to keep pushing a couple of miles and we'll be a when it's past for the night. <sighs> Lovely jubbly. There we go. The last hill. Got a bit of a chill out now. See the sun in the background just going down. Now, it's getting back to stomping. I thought, why not? Look this view. A quick coffee. Hey. chocolate and we're gonna head down to Castleton and round that way I reckon so let's get on it yeah so it's pretty dark now don't know if you can make this sign out I'm just get a flashlight on it there we go. So we've come from Black Tor, what's that way? Man Tor and all that. But we are heading this way to Hollowfield Road. <laughs> right then. So it's been at least a good hour and a half. I made it to Castleton and I noticed that there was all the people on top of it. So I didn't really fancy up there, so I ended up heading up towards Mantor. And I didn't fancy camping on Mantor because I know how busy it is. 
so I've come up Rush Up Edge. I've just got here, I've just got everything set up, and I'm ready for bed. But the stars are incredible, so I'm going to try and get some good shots of them. But the main thing, I'm going to get my head down. I'm tired. So here we are. Got a bed and that all set up. Looking over. Like you've got Mantor over there and Castleton and Hebstage and all that. We'll see it all in the morning. I'm going to get my head down, get a busy bag on and get into bed. So, leave no trace. I'm gonna get stepping. Some just peeking over, but yeah, it's gonna be a foggy now. So, I reckon that'll be going. So we're gonna head today over towards Kinder Scout. But I reckon I'm gonna take a trail that runs down the side down here. Poking out through the clouds. Oh, man. You know, just there, the vibe burning your eyes off. You know, it's cloudy in that. It's still gorgeous. God, then we've got plenty more to see. So it's the first day as well that I'm actually wearing my trainers. And I'm so glad I got these. So I ended up getting them. And um, we ended up doing a walk from Batewell to Matlock. And me, like an idiot, went up in sliders and forgot my shoes. So I just had to grab some shoes went to I think it was Cotswold Art Stores and I never really realised how big my feet were I've always got size 11 size 12 and I've got a measured there and they said yeah you need a 13 so I end up buying I'm not sure exactly what pair they are I'll, I'll find out and I'll put it in the video but well, it's a pair of Scarpa trainers and they're amazing I suffer really badly with like my toes and my heels and stuff like that and I've got one single problem with these. Alright, so I've had some uh, little break. Oh god, there's a mess, tell you that much. Look at that. That mop on head. Get that back on. There we go. So yeah, I'm gonna chuck that back on now. I'm gonna just head up the window. Let that fall off it. Strapped up, ready to rip. Yeah, another hour, we'll be at bottom. Oh, a bit breezy now. Whew. A bit breezy. Go on. I've just got to this little barn. Look at this. Welcome to Dale Head. Donation box. It's like a built in refuge by the looks of it. Mad. Little hidden gem. Yeah. 
And they're about there, so I'll spend tonight in here. <laughs> Come on. So I've just been making up way of these fields. I've got this bit of bog land you can just see down there. And I'm not joking, I've just been up to my knees in mud. So I think, on that note, it might be just getting the next train back because my feet are drenched. Absolutely drenched. <coughs> well, it's my own fault, really, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start heading back to the train station, I reckon. Um, it's not even like I could put fresh socks on and dry them out. They are just completely and utterly drenched. So yeah, we just took this little barn down here. I'm just gonna start, yeah. I'm just gonna head back to the train station. Definitely. <laughs> I'm a donut. Yeah, so that's it for this trip. I'm a bit gutted that we didn't manage to make it up Kinder Scow, but for a quick overnight as it was, it was perfect. The route was around about 15 miles, and the whole time I was either going up or down. So I'm really thankful that I had a light backpack. I'm definitely going to end up doing more trips like this in the summer. So if you've enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. A good morning to those passengers who have recently joined us.